So today I'm going to be talking about how to teach your kids about God. Um, and, and this is mainly towards um, younger kids. Um, my oldest is three years old, and so that's pretty much all that I have experience with. But we're, we're going to just see how this goes. It could be um, beneficial to somebody with older kids too. Um, oh, and it's Mother's Day today when I'm recording this. Um, and it'll go out today too. So happy Mother's Day to anybody who's seeing this on Mother's Day. You are awesome. You are so important. And I promise you, you are so loved by God and your kids. And I bet you're doing an amazing job. So if you're being too hard on yourself, stop it. <laughs> because I don't know, it's hard to be a mother. It takes a lot. It takes a whole lot out of you, um, so much energy if you're really trying to do your best, and nobody is perfect at it. And, I mean, they write books about it, but nobody can really tell you exactly how to do it, because you have to do what's best for you, so everybody's different. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get into um, things that I do to teach my children about God. Um, so I'm kind of new to this. I haven't been doing it like I have been the past couple weeks for like that long. Um, but I just thought that I would share some things that I do. Okay, so number one, I read to them. I read to them. I just read and I let them watch um, like little stories on YouTube. They have cartoons of like Noah's Ark and um, there's a couple more, I can't remember the name of them right now, but they are really cool and my son loves them and it teaches him some stories about the Bible and it makes it more relatable to him because he's three and the other one is almost two, but he really likes them too. Um, I read to them like before their nap time to help them go to sleep. Um, and my three-year-old, he really likes it. It really knocks him out and he enjoys listening to it. I try to read um, stories where they talk about animals and things that are just inspirational to like teach him to love God and how good he is and how important he is in your life. Um, another thing that I do is I read to him basically do the same exact thing with the reading except at bedtime and then we say our prayers and um let me see i i would recommend like their like children's prayers and then um if they're old enough uh just teaching them to regular prayers and then even trying to teach them how to do like a short and simple prayer on their own um which is what I'm working on. I'm trying, and I do that just by when I say a prayer with him. Sometimes I don't do the ones that are um, where they're like the prayer is already like it's a, a certain prayer. That's what I mean. Um, sometimes I just say, you know, and thank you for Papa, and thank you for Daddy, and thank you for Grandma. Um, and we love you, and we appreciate, you know, the food that you've given us and a roof over our head and stuff like that. So, and for Bubba's, we thank you for our Bubba's because I have three boys. <laughs> so, and he really enjoys it. I think he does, he takes something from it. And the whole point is that he is, he's learning. And he is learning to love God and love Jesus and appreciate them and think about them in his life all the time. Um... So, I think that's pretty much all that I have for today. Um, but thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope everything that I told you was helpful or that you can get something out of it. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I try to do, like, devotional videos, little videos. Um, well, I'm not quite sure all of what I'm going to do yet. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye.